Luke, congratulations. An absolute savage display there. When you're in that mood, how good does that feel? Feels, I feel unbeatable in myself. Um, obviously, when you're playing, me playing that well, you just feel like no one can stop you, and that, that just goes goes to show that Jermaine he couldn't couldn't get close. Um, it, obviously, he was missing darts for ton pluses, and then I was I was checking out, but he had to take those chances, but he didn't. When you're that far in front, it's the biggest battle not to switch off and let him back into the game. When I went, when it was eight two, come back on, I just went, don't switch off, there, just keep going. Um, but like he was, he was at me every leg near, near enough. Um, so I knew myself, I, I couldn't switch off. You can see what this nine data means to you as well. Another, another effort. Is that something that's on your mind as well? When you, when you're playing that good, you can just feel it. It's coming. <laughs> um, but it's just that double twelve. You see me on eighty four. I just, I just hit the double twelve, and I'm thinking, why didn't you do that a few legs ago for the nine? Um, but yeah, I can feel myself coming. Congratulations. <laughs> Luke, when you're playing that well, are you aware of how well you're playing when you're on that stage? Uh, Average-wise, no. But I know, I know myself that I'm unbeatable in legs. I was going out in 11, 11 and 12. And like I said there, you, you just can't switch off in these games. And the big finishes were there as well, obviously the 167 and the 164. You had a bit of a decision to make on the 167. Did you consider splitting that one? Uh, I was I was going to because um, I know my, I know my dad he doesn't like it he doesn't like me wasting a data ball um, so I just I just thought I'd just go for it and see what happens and luckily it went in. Congrats, Luke. Cheers. Thank you. Hi, Luke. After two previous major disappointments, does it feel good to be back on it and, and you know back in that sort of real real zone again? Yeah, it just feels good to get past the, the few rounds, um, get myself deeper into the competitions. Obviously, I'm climbing up the world rankings now. And that's always another big thing leading in, into the World Championships. Quick turnaround tonight. Is it early night tonight and nothing else? I uh, wouldn't say early, but I'll try and try my best to get to bed. Um, but yeah, I know I'm, I know I'm up, up in the morning. Great stuff. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Luke, 15 years ago, Phil Taylor beat Scott Waits on that stage 16 2, which is the largest margin of victory in a match play format. Do you think of record when you're on that stage, thinking that I want to? Like the nine dart record, for example, that could go. Are you thinking that you want to create more history by putting your name in history books like that? Uh, if if you win, it's a win. Um, but obviously, if you win what by fourteen legs, it's it's even better. And obviously, I know if it another nine, it'll go down in the record books. Um, there's not too many too many tournaments to do it. Um, but like I said, for myself, I know it's it's nearly there. Do you think you've still got more in the tank? Do you think you could even outperform that? when you step on that stage again tomorrow. Yeah, I'd love to go. I'd love to go even better than tonight. Um, but yeah, I just, I just settled myself tonight. Um, obviously, Jermaine's a very quick thrower, so as myself. Um, but I was just taking that one, two second, stepping back and, and then throwing. Um, so I didn't, I didn't gas myself out. You saw what you did in the Premier League final, but if you could lift a ranking major in your first year, what would that mean? It would mean everything. Um, looked a bit ahead I know if it would do win it goes to number five um, but I've already gone up three, three four places so far um, obviously I'll, I'll take a close look at this game and see who we do play tomorrow afternoon huge well done Luke thank you very much thank you Luke congratulations uh, throughout the entire of the year since the Worlds you've been the punters favourites you've been Bucky's favourites now you're actually the highest ranked player left in the tournament after cross being taken out yesterday does that feel any different do you feel any different expectation on your shoulders now um not really um i know i know myself looking on social media i am the favorite to win it um but the underdog could come back and win it um so i've just got to fully focus on my darts obviously you've made a habit of beating the likes of humphreys and michael van Gogh on the stage if you do make it to the final it'd be either martin lukeman or mickey mansell quite a different opposition, maybe someone you weren't expecting going in. Do you prepare any different for a player that you maybe have never played on the TV stage? Uh, not really, but I do know, well, the side of the draw that I'm in, it's a lot tougher than the other side. Um, but that's how, that's how the draw happens, and I know Sean Martin and Mickey, they're chuffing at the bit, <laughs> making a semi-final. Um, but I've just got to focus on the winner of this game and hopefully get to, through to the final. If you do... what? With the finals, obviously, you've, you beat Luke Humphreys in the, the Premier League and whatnot. Do you, would you rather have a player like Humphreys in your first ranking televised final or does the opponent not particularly matter? Um, 
I wouldn't say it, it doesn't matter, um, but you do have me or the winner of this will have an advantage on the other players, stage experience and the titles. Um, but for Mickey and Martin, it's it's like a free shot for them to just enjoy their darts. I've been watching when I've been back at the hotel, um, but I've just got to focus on the next the next round. Thank you very much. Thank Congrats. you.